Kaylee Ripa was on the move on Tuesday when she and her husband Mark Gonsuelos were spotted out on a stroll in Manhattan's Upper East Side. The 52-year-old live with Kelly and Ryan host was seen covered up with a black KF94 mask following her co-stars Ryan Seacrest's announcement earlier in the day that he had tested positive for COVID-19. Kelly and her 51-year-old actor husband were both dressed sportily for the city outing, which followed her predecessor Kathy Lee Gifford's statements that she would not be reading Kelly's new memoir, which touches on her working relationship with the late Regis Philbin. Kelly looked cozy in a simple white hoodie, which she wore with a hood down. She paired the item with baggy black sweatpants, along with sleek white Nike trainers, and she carried a black backpack with her that was slung over a single shoulder. The talk show host and occasional actress wore her blonde hair pulled back in a casual ponytail, and she kept the beaming sun out of her eyes with black sunglasses. Mark showed off his ripped biceps in a grey t-shirt, which he covered up with a puffy black down vest. He stuck to the minimalist vibe with his own black sweatpants, and he complimented his wife's footwear with white Adidas trainers while rocking cool aviator sunglasses. Kaylee was watching out for others by wearing her mask after Ryan announced on social media that he had come down with COVID-19. I don't know how I avoided it for so long but unfortunately I tested positive for COVID-19 a few days ago and am currently in quarantine," he wrote in a statement on Twitter. He reported experienced the usual symptoms of the illness, but he kept his message light-hearted by adding, "'Ill be in bed watching TV this week so please let me know if you have any recommendations, especially for any foodie shows. Seacrest, who has hosted American Idol for 20 years, became Kelly's full-time co-host in 2017. Luckily, Kelly's husband Mark's entertainment industry position made him perfectly positioned to serve as her guest host while Ryan is isolating and recovering. She previously came down with the illness in May of this year. Mark and Kelly's outing came in the shadow of Kathy Lee Gifford, who co-hosted an earlier version of her popular morning show with her former co-star Regis Philbin, saying she would not be reading Kelly's new memoir Live Wire, long-winded short stories. The TV personality, 69, said Monday on Good Day New York that she was put off by early news stories about the book detailing the complicated relationship Ripa had with Philbin who died in July 2020 at 88. I was very sorry to see the headlines, Gifford said. We see headlines all the time, and you never know what's true and not true. I was in Israel, and I saw that and I went, oh, I hope this isn't true, I just hope it isn't, cause what's the point? I don't get it. She continued, I'm not going to read the book. I haven't read it. I don't even know if it's out yet. In the book, Ripa detailed how she did not have much repartee with Philbin when the cameras weren't trolling. Gifford worked with Philbin on live from 1985 to 2000, with Ripa coming onto the show in 2001, said she treasured her own memories with Philbin. I know what Regis was to me, really, she said. He was 15 years, the best partner a person could ever, ever have, professionally. But he was my friend, we were dear friends. And after I left the show, then the next 20 years, we became better friends, dearer friends. I saw him two weeks before he died. Gifford said that she and Philbin always just picked up right where we left off and were absolutely perfect together for television. Gifford said she and Philbin always got along, and that she never saw him behave nastily toward people. 
we never had an argument not an unkind word in 15 years, so that was my reality, she said. In all the years I've known him, I never saw him unkind to anyone, I never did. She added of Ripa, I'm not going to say anything ugly about anybody, I never have and I'm not going to start now. I'm just saying that my reality is something completely different from that. Gifford said she was thinking of Philbin's widow Joy and his daughters amid the recent story stemming from Ripa's book. She recalled that when she found out Philbin had died, she drove to their house and spent time with Joy. She said Joy told her at the time, Kathy, I just want you to know that when we saw you for lunch two weeks ago at your house. That's the last time I heard Regis laugh. Ripa last month told Entertainment Tonight that she has always had enormous respect, admiration and reverence for Philbin, and that the way she described their relationship in the book is accurate, for better or worse. I, like most of the viewing public, felt like I knew him, but to expect two people from such different generations to have some sort of weird, forced friendship when they never knew each other is a very strange thing to put on one person, she said. It was only put on one person and that is how I describe it. She told people about her recollections of Philbin in the book, there were good and bad days. I don't want to feel like him slamming anyone or that I'm being disrespectful. But I also want people to know it was not a cakewalk. It took years to earn my place there and earn things that are routinely given to the men I worked with. Including an office and a place to put my computer.